Wow. Hi, Dr. Peterson. I'm a member of the translators who translate your video into Chinese. How can I speak the truth and survive in China and protect my family? Oh, man. Well, the first thing I would say is, God, that's a hard question. Carefully and carefully and attentively. How can I speak the truth and survive? Carefully and attentively. I mean, I would say rule number one. Rule number one, don't, sac don't sully your soul. That's like rule number one in life, you know. You got to decide what's horrible. And obviously being persecuted for your opinion is horrible. There's no doubt about that. But being unable to, being forced to live in a web of silence and deception is also horrible. I'm not going to say worse. I'm going to say also horrible. So you've got Hobson's choice there. If you're going to do what you can to tell the truth, then do it with humility and care. Start within the confines of your own immediate circle and don't get arrogant. Don't get arrogant. Don't think you'll get away with it. You have to be doing it humbly and carefully. Push on what you can push on that you think might change. And don't be contemptuous of small victories. And take care of yourself. Be careful. You want to maintain yourself while you're making your attempts so that you can be along to, around to do it for a long time. So, see, and I guess we could rephrase the last part of your question. Because we could also say, how can I speak anything but the truth and survive in China and protect my family? I do believe that in the medium to long term, and all things considered, you never have a better bet than telling the truth. But I do say that realizing that there are places and times where it's relatively safe to do so and places and times where it's relatively unsafe to do so. And if you're in China now and for a very long time, you're in a place where it's relatively unsafe to do so. Don't take unnecessary risks. Don't, but don't, but you have every reason to try to keep your soul and your word intact. 